Uh, kia ora whanau, uh, ko tahoa roa matatui tēmi te nōhi atoku ingoa. I think to me, um, as an artist with autism, uh, I kind of wa- want to be creative with my autism. So whenever um, there's a lot of loud noises or if there are subtle sounds that I love hearing, I always love to put it in beats and like getting ideas and coming up with stories as well and um for me as a as also as an uncle i want to be creative towards my um nephews and nieces like you know i want to be creative towards them and i want them to like you know uh grow up in an environment where they can express themselves and they all don't need to be um artists like me but they i mean like if they want to be like sports players or um educational uh scientists or whatever um yeah i want them to like you know have that express and like make them feel like they're a part of this world and yeah that's what i want to do with my autism is just to like you know um create a story and like you know come up with ideas as well yeah so at the moment i am just currently working at uh maori lands uh as a intern internship member and uh i started uh coming here last year for my six week internship uh for match so that's um animation and storytelling and i did it for six weeks on this course and um and also what i also love doing is writing um telling stories uh and this is my first time uh directing as well uh for for a short film uh i also do um contemporary as well uh back at pitiraya so i did contemporary pacifica uh kapahaka siva samoa and uh koki airani and i studied that for three years at the course and i graduated with a bachelor degree yeah yeah and i do a little bit of acting as well well i love doing acting um that's what got me into um telling stories and that's what got me into um being creative as well uh i love uh, my favorite actors have got to be like mark hamill uh mark ruffalo leonardo dicaprio and yeah chadwick, chadwick boseman like yeah i'm i love those guys and yeah and i love um and they give me the idea of not only that we have to be creative but we also have to be human as well so yeah that's what that's the biggest lesson that was taught to me yeah i think uh when i was uh when i was around 4 years old um i pretty much just stopped talking uh i stopped talking i didn't talk i didn't talk to my parents um i didn't talk to anyone uh so pretty much like the progress with autism was i think was starting to build up and then just around uh 6 years old um i had to go to hospital because i was acting up at school and i had to talk to um therapists and doctors and it took me 6 months uh for my diagnosis to come in and uh when they did find out that i was diagnosed with autism uh my mum wanted some help but uh she didn't really receive um help after that after those few 6 months and she wanted to know more about what is autism but they just wouldn't give her the um but they just wouldn't give her um the information or the help that she needed to um help me get through where I need to go in life so what So for me um hearing that or what my mum told me um yeah it was really heartbreaking um and I really felt sorry for my mum and it was pretty much the first time I ever felt empathy for her as well um and even though I barely talked to her I always you know hugged her and I always like you know yeah that's how I express myself yeah and I always express myself to try and communicate with people um by using movies um TV shows like and I always quote the quote the lines from those movies and then I just yeah 
talk to them and then if they ask me a question um it'll probably be oh hey bro uh what's going on say what again like no no, that's uh yeah don't show that to your kids next time (laughs) yeah but um yeah that's that's pretty much how i express myself um with autism and the challenges for me um is to get through uh, will probably be hearing a lot of things around me uh if i ever walk into town um i didn't have these when i was a kid so when i ever had to walk into town i would have to like cling to my mum and stay close to her uh try and make sure that i block that i block my ears and make sure i don't get too much noise coming through me and yeah was, yeah and there are also certain areas that i think were haunted or tapu and I just, you know, I tend to stay away, like, yeah. Or even when I look in people at the eye, um, I don't really like looking people in the eye when I was a kid. Um, I just thought that the eyes were going to bulge out at me like a cartoon character. So, yeah, I was like, nah, I, I didn't really like it. But, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how I express myself. I think the best part about being autistic is just um well you can still be you so the whole so the whole point of how people see autism um they always see it like oh are you guys embarrassed that you have to put up with this or do your parents know about this like are your parents okay with this like yeah i, I get that i get that sometimes but i'm just like oh i don't mind what my parents are doing and I don't mind what I'm doing as well, because to me, as a tangata with autism, I just see myself as, I don't know, Clark Kent, Superman, like, yeah, I can see myself as that, like, because the reason why um, I say uh, Takiwata can be a superhero is because, well, every superhero has a different gift, yeah, so the reason why I say every superhero has a different gift is because of where they come from, uh, their strengths, their weaknesses, um, their personality that they carry with those strengths and weaknesses, um, the mana and power that they carry with them um, is definitely like the biggest part of Takiwatanga. Because, yeah, we all have that um, moments in us where we feel like we're a superhero and I don't really I don't know if I can talk that talk to other people or any other people who can agree with me on this one but at the end of the day this is still my opinion like yeah and if anyone else does see this like as a superhero then I'm like yeah good good for you yeah good let's go yeah so yeah I think if you want to know like the best part about being Takiwatana is that you get these amazing powers much um for some uh some want to know what is autism or bro i when you're autistic do you is it true that you don't talk for like a month or a year and i'm like uh i mean maybe i don't know and then they just but it's just like those um it's just those certain questions like i don't get triggered by those questions because they want to know more about what is autism and um and yeah uh but if i was to say that if someone was about to say something that was harsh um it wouldn't probably be towards me it'll probably be somewhere towards my parents um saying that uh when they found out that i was diagnosed um they said to my parents that i wouldn't be able to read i wouldn't be able to write i wouldn't be able to make friends with people i wouldn't succeed in getting a job or graduating with a degree but all i know is that it's just well i'll tell you what's wrong is that we're not all fortune tellers yeah we're not all fortune tellers we don't know um how autism people would want to like move on with their lives because this is their choice yeah Yeah, um, I had positive expression, um, people saying positive things about Takiwatanga. 
um there were even people saying that okay bro um i know uh we got to do all the stunts and we got to get this choreography down so how do you want us to help you get over the line and i'm like okay uh so yo so what i want to do is and then i just explain to them like i explain like how i want to get over the line how i want to make sure that um i get to where i need to go yeah and even at maori lands um so many so many of the staff here are really helpful and they're really supportive as well they don't know some of them don't know much about um Pukiwatanga, so they were really excited that they wanted to work on this um short film with me and uh and yeah i had really amazing friends uh back at high school uh back at fitiraya as well um I had so many um, people who actually helped supported this um, system, and so many of my um, so many of my aunties and uncles were really proud of me as well, and I'm proud of them. Yeah. Uh, also, um, even though going back to the doctors, yeah, some of the doctors do lack, but there were also some doctors that I really loved working with as well. Um, the ones that actually did help support me and did help. Uh, help me to get over the lines. Yeah. I think um, how people would work with, um, I think people should see autism like uh, as, you know, just the everyday normal thing. Uh, I think that's how it should be. Uh, we don't need to be seen, you know, as the, oh, this fella needs help or we have to make sure that uh this dude feels safe in this space area but then yet again like with with we, we, we can hear you and yeah we already know what you're saying <laughs> like yeah but um yeah i think uh talk to them uh talk about their favorite hobbies and even if they talk about them too much just be patient um uh also with tamariki with uh Takiwatanga, uh, children with Takiwatanga, I guess. Um, I think uh, support them no matter what. Doesn't matter if they're Pakeha, doesn't matter if they're Māori, doesn't matter if they're Pacifica. Um, what matters is that uh, they want to experience what this world can bring to them. And so far, we are living in a world where there are so many people who are protesting. There is you know, the social, there is the media as well when it comes to hack it, hackers and trolls and yeah, so many people, they'll, they'll discover racism and they'll discover all these um, negative things around um, the world. But we also want to make sure that they are safe as well. Um, we want to make sure that they are safe as well and that we, you know, take time with them to explain why they're like that. But we also want to make sure that they focus on the positive things of side because there are so many things that we can do in life. We can we can appreciate um, our families. We can appreciate the education system that we have. Um, we can appreciate the beautiful sounds that we hear around, even if they are even if there are sounds that we don't want to hear or that are too loud for our um, system we can still get through that yeah so i think i think uh if we can help takiwatanga i think just tell them be in the moment with us and we will help guide you Hi. the the whole moment in my life i think that's what i will say the whole moment of my life of being accepted will probably be from friends from school. Uh, so Taiwan, Tewamutsu Intermediate, Pikero, Arataki, yeah. Um, also being accepted by our Pacifica Fano over at Fitiraya as well. Um, it felt really amazing uh, to work and learn other cultures and learning more about the Pacific Islands as well. Um, I really felt accepted dancing and working with them as well. Um, I really feel accepted here at Māori Land as well because they all took me in and they decided to work on my project that I thought I would never get but somehow I did get it. Um, 
I felt acceptance from so many Indigenous people、um, around the world,、uh, from the States as well, Hava-、uh, from the United States,、um, all of our Comanche,、uh, Pueblo,、uh, Navajo, and our, all of our Alaskan Fano, Canadian Fano,、um, our South American Fano. Like, yeah, you know, it really felt, I really felt accepted by them because they saw me as a nephew. And they have also raised me as well to、um, balance the creative and the indigenous side of things. And that really, I really felt accepted by that. And I really felt passion for that as well, especially from Bird Running Water as, as well, because he is, because he's kind of like my godfather. <laughs>、um, uh, well, pretty much is my godfather, I would say. <laughs>、uh, I would also say, like, the whole of my aunties,、uh, my uncles,、uh, my cousins, my nephews and nieces, they all accepted me for who I am and accepted my,、um, and accepted my differences as well because,、um, because they showed me that、um, we can all, all of us are always going to be the same inside, but we will always be different from the outside. And,、um, Yeah, and also probably, probably my parents as well.、Um, being accepted by my parents,、uh, my dad, my sisters,、uh, and my sister.、Uh, yeah, I think that's like the biggest one for me、uh, being accepted by my family,、uh, by my own family. Because mum has been by my side all my life, taking care, looking after me.、Um, my dad inspired me to. To speak.、Um, he inspired me to、uh, to work with communities, I think I would say.、Um, and also my sister as well.、Um, we never got along when we were kids, but as we grew up and go into that stage where we become adults,、um, yeah, I feel really appreciated、uh, being with her at this moment. And yeah, just. Talking to her,、um, sharing the same passion, even when it comes to music. Yeah, it's, it's such a privilege. Yeah. And also, be, and also, like, you know, this acceptance will probably be now as well. Like, in this interview, I really feel appreciated and, ex- and feeling that acceptance right here, too. So, yeah, pretty much.